Hi guys, welcome back to Webjetta. So in the previous one, we saw how we can uh, show the user profile when a user logs in using our Firebase authentication. Now once that is done, we may have to like automatically route them. Once the login is done, we route them to profile. And if they cannot, we'll route them to maybe login page again. Um, that would be, that would happen automatically. And initially, if the user is logged out, uh, will show login if they are logged in will show about so let's look at this first the navigation um, that's in the layout here we can make this navigation a different um, what do you say component and do it but here let's uh, import I use logged in from store now if it is logged in so i'll just have it here hash if the dollar is logged in then uh, show something i'll come to that it may be wrong now else show something else and then in the if condition now, uh, if user is logged in, we have to show logout. So this is not the one. We'll have it here. And this will have it there. So if it's logged in, it shows logout. Uh, right now, it may not show anything because uh, if I refresh, it'll like it'll be gone. The profile is gone. Now login is there. If I click on login and then login here, it will become a logout. Okay, and profile we have this. Now that is sorted out. Now what else do we do? Uh, we might need a logout to function, right? So we have logout here. Now on clicking this, we need to do a few things. Uh, maybe we don't have to like go anywhere when href happens we can remove that and we do on click um we'll do something like logout so here we can have a function const logout equals this will also be an async function and uh, we need auth here so we'll get that const response equals auth dot sign out and uh, this is it so it was that easy so we'll make it asynchronous we'll also await here sorry and uh, a few more things like you know um, user so this is this is user right uh, we have to import auth from somewhere else <laughs> i'm a little confused here auth from firebase yeah this is where the auth come from now uh, dollar user we have to reassign it to an empty um, object and then is logged in becomes false once the sign out happens now we are not sure this are all gonna happen so we'll catch any errors and then we'll console that here okay so that is done now uh, this shows as error because uh, href should have an href if we have it it shows you know it cannot be empty uh, I don't know if there is a there is a no better solution there let's refresh okay so login is being shown uh, if we log in using this okay logout is shown if you go to profile it shows home um what was the difference there okay logout we can log out now 
once we log out it shows login if you go to profile nothing is there and if you go to login we have this now once the login happens we shouldn't stay in the login page we should go to the profile page so that can be done in the login page here uh, we can have uh, something called go to from uh, app navigation okay so this go to here what we can do is instead of these console logs once everything succeeds we'll have go to and uh, profile okay, so this happens automatically otherwise you know uh, user stays here so that that is done uh, okay so let's test that out login we should go to profile directly now once the login is complete yes so this is happening um, yeah so this is good um, what else can we do here um, I'm, a, I'm a little out of ideas but let me know what else can be done here so you can also let me know what other features we can add to this so that other people can you know use it so yeah let me know guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye